and welcome back to the vlog. Today is Monday, it's August the 12th, and we're at the orthodontist right now. Allie has her appointment today. Um, not sure how long this one's gonna take. I think it's a long appointment, but I'm not, I don't know. Millie's napping in the back seat. I think Jackson's about to fall asleep, so hopefully they can get them a good nap while we're here. It's 12 o'clock, so it's right at lunchtime, so it's a perfect time for them to go ahead and get a nap, or at least perfect time for Millie to get a nap. Jackson just sleeps whenever. He's on his own schedule. Um, anyway, I've got so much to do today. So we left a little bit early for Allie to be able to go and into Marshall. She wanted to get her friend a birthday gift. Um, so we did that, but while I was in there, I have been slowly like buying like some fall things for the kids. And y'all, if you have a Marshalls around you, go in there because they have some really good fall clothes in there and they are so cheap. Like you can get a whole outfit, like a shirt, pair of pants, $12.99, $14.99. I did get the little kids several things while I was in there. I even got them like this little jumpsuit set. I'll have to show it to y'all if I remember. It's like a sweatshirt and the jogger pants and it has like a little uh, fanny pack belt bag that goes along with it. And it was all, I don't remember how much it was. Um, I'll have to look, but it was very cheap and I'm like, I just love going to Marshalls um, each season to see what I can find. I've got to go to Ingalls curbside, a Walmart pickup to get our groceries for the week. I want to have that took care of today because we start school back tomorrow is our first day and I don't want to have to worry with anything about getting groceries and what we're going to eat and all of that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and have everything laid out and planned for the week to make our first week back to school as smooth as it can possibly go. I do have chicken thawing out at home. I'm going to do, um, I think I'm cooking chicken salad tonight. Well, either grilled chicken or I'll do like chicken salad with baked potatoes and some kind of veggie tonight for dinner. But that's not all that I have to do. I also, after we get all the groceries put away, I have to um, go in our school room finish up to the last few minute things before we start tomorrow. Get everything laid out and organized. I mean, it's pretty much organized, but I just have a few little things to tidy up in there. So I'm gonna do that today. So I've got a really busy Monday. All right, so we finally got all of the errands run that I needed to get done and it is now 1.20. We left the house at 10.30 this morning. Allie's driving us home. She's doing a great job. Um, she's actually already been on a few trips by herself in the car without us in there. And she's doing pretty good so far. All right, now <laughs> she makes her terrible. <laughs> she does not like driving my big van, though. She has told me that. She doesn't like driving it, but. But now it's time to get home, get all these groceries put away, um, and start cleaning the house and working in the schoolroom for tomorrow. All right, so we're back home. I'm gonna show you the things that I found at Marshall's real quick. Um, I realized I did leave Millie's outfit outside, but she just got like a pink jogger set too. It's um, the Champion brand. It's like a pink sweatshirt and pink sweatpants. She wanted to hold it on the way home, so it's still in the van. I need to get that out. But I'm gonna show you what we found real quick. And these are the little jogger sets I was telling you about. I got one for Holly, Amy, and Bethany. Bethany got the purple one, and it come with a little fanny pack. That is just so cute. Um, and these, I looked at the tag, they're $24.99 a piece. So it's, that's the shirt, the pants, and the fanny pack. I don't think that's too bad at all. So um, I got one in purple for Bethany, one in gray for Amy, and then her little bag is pink. And then I got this hot pink one for Holly, and then her bag is black. I just thought those were adorable. And then this is a pack of two of long sleeve shirts. One's green, like a light green, and then striped. This will fit Holly and Bethany. So. I told them they could just pick which one they like or share them. And over here, Allie was in there with me, so she found her this little dress, and it's super cute. Looks like fall colors, too. Allie went to get um, Millie's outfit for me. It's actually not Champion. It is Puma, but it's still the pink little jogger set. And then this, I got um, two of these, just to like one for Natalie and one for Everly, the leggings. That's just so cute. It comes a little scrunchy. And this was $9.99 for the shirt, the pants, and the little scrunchie. So I got two of those. And then this one right here is for Everly. Is that not so cute, y'all? The cute little shirt and then the little blue jean dress. <laughs> that is adorable. Can you tell that it was originally $56? I paid $12.99 for it. And I got this for Natalie. It's a little blue sweatshirt with a little skirt that matches and a hair clip. That was $14.99. And here's the other outfit that I got for Everly and um, Natalie. Oh, and then I got these um, black leggings. It comes in a pair of two flare leggings. Uh, Holly, Amy, Bethany all like to wear those flare leggings, and it was $14.99 for two pairs together. Then just a couple little things while I was in there. I got these chocolate-covered almonds at the register just because, look at them. They look so good. Dark chocolate. 
And then the last thing is this candle that says Hello Fall. It's white pumpkin. It was $7.99 and it smells so good. I'm actually about to light this right now. All right, y'all, I'm lighting my first fall candle of the year. Y'all tell me who has lit a fall candle so far. Can't be the only one. I love the smell of pumpkin. They also had maple pecan in there. Y'all know I love maple pecan, but it didn't smell the best, so I got this white pumpkin. show you my chicken salad recipe real quick it is so good I do not have exact measurements for y'all because because every time I make this I just I, I stop the mixer I taste it if I need to add something I add it but I'm going to show you what I do put in it so I've got my chicken here um ready to go in my KitchenAid mixer so first I'm just going to add some mayonnaise like I said absolutely no measurements y'all will just have to kind of watch it yourself when you add it The next thing that I'm adding is mustard. All right, so this is literally like the key ingredient. You probably won't find this when you look up chicken salad recipes. This is something we had on hand one day and just tried it. It is called finger licking chicken sauce. I had bought this just for a dip for chicken tenders and things like that. But we added it to our chicken salad one day and it like took it to the next level. It was so good. Like I said, no recipe though. We just added it until we liked the way it tasted. Now I'm going to add in some grapes that I chopped up. Now I'm going to mix all this together and then we'll see how it tastes. pretty much perfect. I'm just adding a tiny bit more mayonnaise and a tiny bit more of the chicken sauce. That is absolutely perfect. So now I'm just going to put it in a bowl and put it in the fridge until dinner time. All right, so we're all done with dinner. I am pretty much done with the school room. I've got everything cleaned up. The only thing I have to do now is tonight when the kids go to bed, I will lay out their um, little goodies on their desk after they go to bed tonight right now. They are having a swim in the she took the little kids out. Jackson's in here with me. I'm going to, well, we've already cleaned up from dinner, but now I'm going to set the coffee pot for in the morning. Go ahead and get that ready. That's one last thing that we have to do in the morning. We do have a couple of baked potatoes left over there. I'll stick those in the fridge. Somebody might want those for lunch tomorrow. I'm going to dump this out. I'm going to be using my favorite maple pecan coffee for in the morning. I'm going to hit program button so I got these in the mail earlier I ordered some of these like super dirty strong command hooks um, because this year all of the kids requested a backpack we don't ever do backpacks because they're homeschooled and normally we just put their books in a bookshelf or something everybody this year there's a possibility that we will be joining the co-op this year as well i'm still waiting to hear back from that i go to like an info meeting at the end of this month 
so they may need a backpack for that. But anyway, they want to keep their backpacks at their desk with their books in it. That way they don't have to go like looking for books. And if a book gets on a different shelf, you know how it goes. When you have several kids, things just get disorganized. They want to keep their own books in their own backpack. That way nothing gets confused. I think it might help keep things a little organized as well. So I'm kind of game for that. I was, so I ordered her a backpack. I actually got Eva Millie one. She's preschool. Um, I got hers for $5 at Target. If y'all go to Target, they have $5 backpacks, which I thought was an absolute awesome deal. But anyway, long story short, these command hooks are to hang on the side of the kid's desk um, to hang their backpack on. That way it doesn't just sit in the floor. Millie and Everly's desk, which y'all will see all of that in the next vlog, um, actually already came with a hook on it. So these are just for the um, other girls to have a hook on their desk. So anyway, we'll put those on later. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for this vlog. I thank y'all so much for hanging out with us on the next vlog. Um, y'all should see our homeschool setup, our homeschool room completed, finally completely done. Um, as well as parts of our first day of school tomorrow. Don't know how much I'll get to video on our first day of school because I want to be completely hands-on, but I am going to try to get a few clips for y'all and just for my memory to look back on because sometimes we go back and watch those videos of our first day of school and it's just always fun. So I do want to have that for my memory as well and for the kids. So um, we'll see what we, we'll see how much we get to video tomorrow. But anyway, thank you for hanging out with me. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for you today. Give this video a thumbs up and we'll talk to the comments. Bye friends.